I think for the first time in a while, I'm actually really sad at the outcome of one of these games. I'm not disappointed. I'm not upset. I'm just sad. The Vancouver Canucks lost one nothing. One nothing. Laurent Boursois got the shutout here, and I think. Oh man, I don't want to sound like a homer. I know I'm basically like the biggest homer here on YouTube, but would it be fair to say that Brassois won the game for the Jets? You watched the game, I assume. If you did, you know what I'm talking about, right? There's only one goal to talk about here, and it came in the last, like, two minutes of the game. Mark Shifley, off of a good give-and-go one-timer with Bufflin, goes past Markstrom, who was lights out the entire 57 minutes of the game? Huh. I don't... I, I, I don't know what to say. Feels really weird, and honestly, I can... Ah. The Vancouver Canucks played a really good game, and they got so many good chances. A ton of guys came out there, and I saw a lot of things that I liked out of a lot of players. Guys like Roussel, Vertanen, Brock really stood out to me tonight. But we couldn't beat Laurent Brassois, who was coming into this game as a really hot backup, and Markstrom was really hot too. And you could kind of see the culmination of everything at the end when Shifley scored his goal and he had his hands up, almost as if he was saying, screw you, Vancouver. Because the context of everything that led up to that goal was just fascinating. That's what it was. It was fascinating. But I don't know what else to say. Levo got shuffled around a little bit. Edler, I think he played pretty well. I thought that Edler was legitimately pretty solid the entire way through. There were a few moments where I was like, ah, oh, Edler, do something! But like, the whole time it was very consistent, high quality play from him. All the lines got a ton of chances in on Brassois. And honestly, I gotta give credit where credit's due. He was an absolute beast. The man's just totally robbed the Canucks several times and... I'd be lying if I said that he did not deserve the win. But at the same time, I think among the two teams, just based off of the chances and the quality of play, in my opinion, I think the team that deserved to win didn't. I might sound like a homer, but huh. I think the goaltender that won deserved the win, but I think the team that lost deserved the win. It's not often that you see one nothing games in today's NHL anymore, specifically games where the game-winning goal comes at the very end of the game. And Laurent Brassois had 40 saves in this one. Goodness gracious, what a performance by him. Just... Absolutely incredible. Markstrom making 22 saves out of 23. And... That's it. That ends off the Vancouver Canucks portion of the season before the Christmas break. Huh. I'm not disappointed. I'm not upset. I'm just... Sad. And I apologize to all you guys watching this video looking for some enthusiasm, some anger, some happiness. Nah, that's not what you get here. You just get me melancholically sitting here just lamenting on things on my life. I'm probably gonna finish up my day with some SSSS Gridman, as well as some Nana, maybe finishing up some other animes that I haven't finished up either. Uh, it's time to bring out the jar of ice cream. I'm gonna be sitting here all night. Hope you guys enjoyed. Actually, you know what? Screw that. You guys didn't enjoy this one. Hope you guys suffered through this one with me and related to me and my ability to feel sadness. Twitter and Google Plus links are down below. Make sure to troll, dislike, and do not subscribe to LEGO Rock Sign and then Gaming. I'm saying it once here slowly because I'm in the mood and a lot of you guys wonder what I say at the end of my videos. And bye.